Good evening, it's your boy Rishraf, and today we have the timed delivery system. Now, if you're new here to the channel, you already know it's going to be a good video. Let us commence forth. Alright guys, so we are rolling with a little bit of a new setup today, and I just wrote this script in like 5 minutes, so... To be honest with you, I just, I'm literally making a video on it without even testing it. So let's try and figure it out. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put a sensor in here. So what we need to do is just insert a regular part. And upon doing this, let's just resize it and make it all good. You already know. Uh, what you want to do first is you want to make sure that anchored is on, can Clyde is off. Now, after you do that, go and duplicate it. And you can press Control D or Command D. And yep, sounds good. My view is kind of messed up. Sorry if you can hear the computer fans in the background. Let's go ahead and make this the start part. Make sure that the names are really important, guys. And let's call this the end part. All right, sounds good. And let's just get these two and we'll press group. Model name, we'll just call it time, uh, time delivery. Now, I really wanted to call this a time trial in which it's actually supposed to be called, but I, I think I already have a time trial system. Uh, I don't even know what I have sometimes. So we'll call this uh, Time Manager, although not a good game, or not a good name, I should say. I am making a Unity game on Unity, of course. It's gonna be on Steam and stuff, so if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and leave a comment below. Now, the first thing we need to do for the script is establish a time limit. And this goes in seconds. So let's go ahead and make a variable called time limit. I'm going to do a minute, which is 60 seconds. Say trial started. We need that bool in there. We're going to have something called a tracker. Uh, we're going to call it tracker value equals nil. Change a little bit of the colors if you guys know what I mean. Say script.parent.activator. Now, I wrote activated before, but what we need to do is start part. Dot touched. All right, let's say connect function and we'll do I don't know why they haven't fixed this like this should just auto complete into one whole thing instead of doing this parenthesis thing in which I don't like so nothing you haven't seen before on the channel and we're gonna go ahead and find the humanoid say then and then that should auto complete say local PLR equals game not players get player from character yada yada you already you guys already know this stuff you guys are legends say not PLR find first child timed drop off. Okay, so this is a little different than, you know, obviously routine, which you guys see. So if they don't have something called time drop off, I'll introduce what that is. We'll say if they don't, like if they're not on the mission already, we'll say tracker value equals instance dot new. This is how you create something from scratch. Say bool value. And upon doing this, we'll add a comma, we'll say PLR. What this does is it creates a new bool value and it makes the parent of the bool value the player. So now it's under the player. So this line of code should not repeat twice. Say so tracker value dot name equals time drop off. Okay, so one thing you want to make sure is that these two names match. These have to match. Otherwise, it's going to be broken and then we'll just print time trial started then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to start another now this is called a quarantine but you, this is not an official quarantine but I like to call it a quarantine see as you can see we can do that but we're not going to use that but it's basically like writing our own quarantine we're gonna call it function countdown I like the word or I like the name countdown for it. I think it really describes it nice started equals all right now if the trial has not started notice we didn't do anything yet so make sure this is false I don't know why I put true but just make sure that this is false that would have been a, a mess and a half if you guys are interested in supporting me and the channel go ahead and make a contribution or purchase to limitlessgamer.net. A description will be in the link below. Sorry, I have to get, it's like super hot. It is hot as heck in this room. Is that the Grim Reaper? If you guys know what I'm talking about, go and leave a comment. I don't know why this is uh, not auto-completing, it should. 
All right. I just added parentheses here because you already know your boy does that. I'll say tracker value dot value equals true. All right, let's check it out. So what we're doing is making something expire. And here's how we can do that. So once we start it, we'll print trial started and we'll count down. Now, if the time trial has started is uh, like, this is something that you want to take into consideration. Now, here what we would do is we'll say, trial started equals true and upon doing that we'll add this to be true as well now what this is going to do is we're going to start the trial and we're going to count down now you're saying well Rishraf, if you already know it started then why even put it here again this is totally optional of doing this but this is just ensuring that the time trial has started because you don't want to accidentally reference this function or have it repeat constantly 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 because we have a while wait here. So while wait every second, we're gonna minus from our timer. As soon as our timer hits zero, we are going to turn on the tracker value, uh, this bool. So once it turns on, that's how we'll know it expired. So we literally know how to start it. We know how to count down. All we need to do now is add a ending. So say end part dot touched connect function. And you already know it's going to be the exact same thing that we just did. And but instead of using the same PLR, we have to make a new one. We'll say game dot players, and we can get just a little bit different, a little creative on here. We'll say get. Oops. We'll say get player from character. Hit dot parent. Again, the double parentheses thingy is like not it. Ending PLR, find first child timed drop off. Then say local dropped off. Don't worry, guys, I will explain everything. If you're new to the channel, don't worry, I like to write it out, you know, so you guys know like what is actually what. And we'll say ending PLR, find first child timed drop off. And you're like, what is this guy doing? Don't worry, guys, I got you. Value equal equal true, then print. Time has expired. All right. And then we'll say end, and then we'll add a else if. So make sure to put this else if before the end. Dropped off dot value equal equal false, then print success. So. Right here, I'm gonna leave a little comment. Give player money. Reference to money video. All right, so I have a video called Give Players Money. I'll put a little card up top in the top right for you if you're on mobile. Or I don't actually know where it's at on the on the thingy, on the, the desktop. Okay, so what I like to do is just explain to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and start. And upon starting, We'll give their player, if they don't have this thing called the tracker value, we'll go and check it out. We'll be like, all right, they don't have one. We'll give you one and we'll start the trial. Boom. Let's begin countdown. Countdown is going to be the time limit. 60 seconds. We're going to count down. You can add a debug statement here showing that every second is countdown. When they touch the end part, right? So if you deliver something or, or you're doing something, right? Then what you can do is say ending PLR equals game.players. All right, then we'll see if they are on the mission, if they have this thing called time drop off, that's cool. We'll find it, we'll reference it, we'll call it dropped off. If dropped off dot value equals true, meaning if time has expired, then we'll say, all right, time has expired. But if, I like to say but if instead of else if, but else if dropped value is false, meaning if time has not expired and it's a success, and then either way, we will destroy their value so they can start it up once again. Alrighty, so let's open up our output. Alrighty, we can go and press play now. So it looks like we're getting no errors and awesome. So we're gonna go and go in here. Time trial has started. Notice how this is only fired once. Uh, that's awesome and boom, it was a success. So you guys may notice that error at the bottom and what's, that, what's happening is that when we keep touching this part, it's going to keep referencing our player so if you guys do want to get rid of this error if i mean it doesn't bother me but 
you should always try and aim to get rid of your error. So what you want to do is you want to add a little bool value. You just want to say, and um, we'll say and dropped off um, bool or something uh, and equals false. Then you would create a bool and then you would put it here and be like dropped off bool um, equals true. And then you would just reset it in a cooldown. You just make a cooldown timer, um, stuff like that. You know, this is just a template, you know, whatever you guys want to do with it. So, oops. So yeah, I'll be posting this in the description as the uncopy locked place in the description below. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know if you guys have any feedback for the video. I would always appreciate that. But uh, this is all I have for you today. Got a lot of videos coming soon. Make a purchase on Limitless Gamer and Loaded Fitness. Sorry for the lack of uploads, everybody. Just been super busy. Uh, just working and doing all this stuff with school and uh, you know YouTube and stuff and making sure all the code is right and this whole new police unity game but i'm not going to spoil too much so i want everybody to have a great day today wear the masks if if it's mandatory and if you have to just do your thing stay inside and code if you'd like peace, peace.